man. All right. Hey, um, you want to talk about who we are first? Well, I'm David with the Book Tavern. If you don't know me, then uh, you probably uh, <clears throat> won't be watching this video anyway. <laughs> this is Brian Panowich. Hello. Uh, I'm the author of Bull Mountain, and we're going to open uh, the first box that I've seen a bookstore order. And Dave's being very humble. If you want to buy this book, it's the best place to buy it, man. It's world-renowned book tavern. If you need it signed, we'll write it out to anybody. Get on his Facebook page, this book tavern. Find out the phone number. Google him. Google me, and we'll work it out. Correct? Yeah, All absolutely. Right. All right, let's, let's All right. open a box. Let's do it. Oh, that's that's a uh, that's my son oh, Wyatt, yeah. by the way. Let's get Wyatt. This is Wyatt. Let's get him in there. Yeah, because this book is a family affair, so yeah. uh, the unboxing should be a family <laughs> affair, right? I agree. You know, in fact, if anybody looks like a character out of this book, David, it would be you. Well, you know, I, I've been meaning to shave the beard off for a while. Don't you dare. I'm waiting until after the event to chop it back. Then I'll, I'm going to give it my annual chop down. So, If there was one thing I regretted about joining the fire service is not being able to look like you. Yeah, as my friend Jay said the same thing. He said that the, uh, the mask just doesn't seal up nice. All right, well, let's see what they look like, buddy. What do you think? Oh, look at oh, that. Oh, man. Look at that. I like one of those. What is that? Well, Oops. i got to say I'm going to have to give up my, uh, my art. You know, yeah. I have an advanced reading copy, but I'm going to have to... Oh man. You know what? I'm gonna tell you what. I'm gonna tell you what. I've got you here right now. I'm gonna be the first person to get you to sign a copy to me. Look at that, man. And I'll right. be honored. And it's uh, to David and Gabby G A B I. Alright. Let me get it on the appropriate page. I was told they are supposed to sign it on the actual title page. Yeah, the uh, you know there's not really a set rule for it, but like each author kinda has their own little Little well, work. I'm going with what Putnam but, told me. But Putnam yeah. is the greatest. Yeah. Oh, and Putnam recently uh, <laughs> compared Brian here to a previous Putnam author, Mario Puzo, The Godfather, which makes a lot of sense to me. This is about a North Georgia crime family. True. The Godfather is about an Italian crime family. Both excellent reads. Though uh, I'd say you should read this one first, you know, The Godfather, that's 50 years old. Oh dude. my goodness, yeah, I heard that and had to go sit in my garage and breathe heavily for a few minutes. Um, it's weird when stuff really like, you know, you, you feel, it's like yeah, I can't unreal get, I can't feeling, get my head right? around that, David, yeah. at all, at all. Yeah. You know, like Steinbeck and Mario Puzo and all these names that come up describing this book, these are like mythical creatures to me, yeah. you know, so it's, it's, a, it's a bizarre feeling, but this is to David. And Gabby, G A B I. And Gabby, G A B I. Uh, that's my name, and we will discuss what I want to write down here. Yeah, yeah, you can you can think about it and fill as, it in. Later. As important as you have been in this process. Now, sadly, you can't buy a copy until the seventh, but we'll have plenty available for you, along with some other fun things at the event. Oh, yeah, where's that? Which, uh, yeah, where's that knife going? Because we gotta out. we gotta break this out so you can kind of get a sneak peek of. Uh, one of the uh, beverages that will be served. Now, I don't necessarily recommend buying the book for uh, someone of Wyatt's age, although there is family <laughs> uh, elements. Um, but I'd, I'd like to see it go into the older, older generation. But if you're 21, on the other hand, yeah, at our book launch on July 7th of 2015, here at the Book Tavern, run by David, here we will be sharing a nip. A nip or two yeah. of Midnight Run Moonshine, distilled right here in Georgia by a fireman, active duty fireman in Augusta, Richmond County. Yeah. What kind of kismet's that? A fireman writes a book about something to do with moonshine, and, and then another what? fireman makes some moonshine, and the two of them get together like and neighbors. Right. We're, we're like Reese's Cups, man. Yeah. Better than that. Better it was, than it was, Reese's. It was simpatico, for sure. Uh, there will be 90 and 100 proof, yeah. by the way. So, uh, bring your ID, because without it, you won't be able to get any. <laughs> you too, Lincoln, because you look like yeah. you're 12. <laughs> anyway, thanks. See you later.